Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming out. Uh, it was only last semester when I performed Alpen Lucier's composition, I am sitting in a room. Professor Harjito, I and members of the Wesleyan Gamelan Ensemble have performed his works several times in the United States and Indonesia. Gamelan was one of Alpin's favorite music. He was fascinated by the acoustical effect of gamelan instruments individually or collectively. He considered each gong not as musical instrument, but a resonant chamber. His music for gamelan consists of the orchestration of those acoustical realizations from each of the resonant chambers. A John Spencer Camp professor of music, Emeritus Alpin Lucier, has passed away last Wednesday morning. We would like to dedicate our Gamelan concert in memory of his life. Now, I would like to start with, we would like to start the first piece. In Gamelan tradition, searching the mood of composition based on the name of the piece can be very tricky. Oftentimes, the name does not correlate to the feeling of the piece. The first piece you are about to hear is the case in point. The name of the piece is Okra Okra, an anopatipiac word which means cracking sound when something is moved back and forth. But you are not going to find that cracking sound in the piece. From musician's perspective, the piece is known as a meandering piece in, in between two modal systems. Is this the reason for naming the piece as cracking and wobbling? I don't know. Enjoy the piece.
cannot see all of you whether you are clapping or not. <laughs> uh, okay. The second piece, uh, it's entitled Bimo Cordo. We we'll just have to wait. Everybody placing their place mm. there. So mm. I have to tell you a little bit of story here. Uh, perhaps many of you familiar with the story of Mahabharata. The main theme of the story is a conflict between five brothers Pandava and 99 brothers Kurava. The second brother Pandava is uh, the name, his name is Bhima. Uh, I will have to show you the uh, puppet representing the Bhima. Second brother of Pandava, a strong, a robust, and atlantically uh, robust character. He had a long nail to kill his enemy. Uh, the second piece in our program entitled Bimo Kordo, enraged or furious Bima.
I did not say much about the how the piece uh, was put together and the tuning system. Uh, I don't think this is the right time to tell you about that, but at least you already uh, noticed the difference between the first piece and the second piece. The first piece is in the scale or in the tuning system called Slindru, and the second piece is uh, a piece uh, uh, in a Pelock scale, uh, which is the difference is that the Slindru has five notes per octave and the Pelock has seven notes per octave, although it's being used pentatonically. Okay, so I was telling you about the Mahabharata story, about the conflict between Pandava brothers and Kurava brothers. So speaking of conflict, during the period of colonial Java, a long conflict within the Mataram royal family has brought about the partition of the kingdom into two major and two minor courts under the supervision of the colonial government. In 1913, a court poet composed three volumes manuscript entitled Sri Karongron. Sri means uh, a king, a ruler. Karongron means two or a pair. Um, the poem describing a series of events when the two major kings visiting each other. A gamelan composition of the same title and the same name was also composed to commemorate the event. However, as history advances, the historical background of the piece is forgotten or is erased. Contemporary musicians perform this piece in all sorts of occasions, and the text sung in this piece does not describe its original context of the visit between that, of the meeting between the, the two kings. Speaking of song, so far in this uh, last semester of actually it's almost two years now, we restrained from uh, teaching our students singing. I think you know the reason is because of the uh, pandemic. Uh, but I will be singing a little bit on this, uh, for this piece. Maybe you can call it a muted singing, so I am not going to sing too loud. All right, so enjoy Sri Karong Ran.
So in the piece you just heard uh, ends with uh, an unmetrical melody performed by only three instruments, Rebab, Gender, and Gambang. Now we're, uh, this is going to be our last piece of uh, this program. Uh, the title of the piece is called Undur, Undur Kajongan. Uh, this, this piece is a kind of anomaly within Gamelan repertoire. It is an instrumental piece, the introduction of which is performed by an ancient bronze and, uh, xylophone called Gambang Gongso. Because we don't have Gambang Gongso, uh, Pak Arjito will play Gender, uh, but using unpatted mallet, so it will sound much brighter than usually the Gender sound like. Uh, undur means to start or to retreat. Um, the piece was performed to accompany the king when he retreats from palace chamber to the inner palace. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the last piece. Thank you. 
everyone for hard uh, work this semester and thank you the staff of the CFA taking care of us to produce this cancer and good night everyone.